guys, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing something different and it is like a first impression, try on new makeup kind of video. And I don't know, I was inspired by Rach Loves to do it and I recently got a couple of new things, uh, new makeup items <laughs> and I thought that I would either feature them on camera for the first time for you guys and some of them I've actually not tried before so yeah, I'm pretty excited for this video um, and I'm so sorry I missed an, up, an upload because I really had no time to film and I just recovered from an eye infection or sore eyes so I couldn't wear contact lenses. Majority of the things that I got from this video are actually from comamakeup.com which is a new website that I recently stumbled upon and I really, really, really like their service the products that they carry and also the prices that they have so if you are a makeup junkie like I am then I highly recommend that website and I will link it down below in the description box for you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't or if you are not subscribed yet and like this video if you enjoy it and if you want to see more videos like these and yeah so without wasting any more time let's get on with it Okay you guys, the first thing I'm going to feature in this video is the Morphe Brow Palette and this brow palette comes with 8 shades, 2 of them, I think this is the wax and this is the highlight and these are all the powder brow colours. Um, I actually put on or use this to put on my brows today, I will insert a clip here but it's muted because I didn't switch on my mic. <laughs> these brow colours, I feel that they are very versatile I would say and it's great for those of you who want to build like your makeup kit especially if you're going out to do other people's makeup um, but the one thing I do have to say though is it's quite it's really pigmented when you like put it on your fingers but when you use a brush a brow brush to pick it up and put it on the brow it is quite powdery which I think is not a big problem. In that sense, you ensure that you don't put on too much brow product, then you know you will have like a really thick brow. And this was $25 from comamakeup.com and I really like this. Now moving on to the face, I'm going to be putting on my foundation. I don't have a new foundation to test, but I have a new tool to test my foundation with. And this is the Wet n Wild Flat Top Brush. This is how it comes in and again, I got this from comamakeup.com and this was only like $10. If you watch um, Kathleen Light, she actually raves about this brush. So I'm going to try it out today. Now I'm just going to put on my foundation and I'm going to be using my NARS um, Sheer Glow Foundation. And I'm going to blend away. Oh my god you guys, it is so soft. It's so soft. Oh my god, it's so soft. It's not like really, like it's not too stiff, but it's not too fluffy either, which makes it like really nice. I do have to say though that because it's not like super stiff, you will not get like a super full coverage, say like when you use a flat top kabuki brush from 13 Rushes. That one is really like flat um, and really like dense. It's not stiff. Um, it's really dense so you know that you're gonna get like a full coverage um, finish with that brush but because this is slightly like um, I don't know if you can see but it's quite it's quite it's not that it's not that dense so if you do get this brush um, maybe you can stipple your foundation first and then blend it out in circular motions Alright, now that my foundation is on, I'm going to use a concealer and I'm going to be trying out this concealer. This is the Physicians Formula Nude Wear Concealer and I got this from Japan. And I've tried it once or twice but I don't know how it looks like on camera. But as you can see, it looks really orange. Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. I'm still going to use the same brush to blend it in. Okay, this brush sheds. And I don't know, but do you see any difference with my concealer? I feel like... I feel like it did nothing. It kind of did something, but not that much. Editing Tiara, what do you think? Difference? No difference? 
Okay, so because hang on, because I think that there's no difference, right? I'm gonna use my regular concealer, which is the Urban Decay concealer, and I'm just gonna put it over, and I'll be right back. All right, so now that I feel that my under eye area is looking much better, I am going to set my under eye area and also my face with something that I'm super excited about, and this is the Coty S Pan Loose Powder in Translucent, I think. Yeah. And Tati from Glam Life Guru loves this, Patrick Star loves this and I managed to find it at a steal of like $15 I think from comamakeup.com I have used this once or twice but I've never really like used it properly because I wanted to use this to bake so that's what I'm gonna do today If you are on a budget and I know that the Laura Mercier translucent powder is very expensive Maybe you can try the- oh god <coughs> Okay you can try the Coty Espan powder. I have a fan here, so the powder is like flying into my face. However, the thing about the Coty Espan powder is that it is super finely milled, but it has a scent. Like, I don't know how to explain what smell it is. It's like, it doesn't smell bad, but I think the smell is relatively strong, but that's just my opinion. I'm going to take some of the powder and I'm gonna bake. I think that the smell is quite strong but I guess it's better than a smelly smell. Okay, now that our bake is on, I am going to go ahead and do finish up my eyes. So I'm going to be using a new product as well and this is the Dolly Wink um, Black Eyeliner. It's really thin, as in the felt tip. And it's really black as well. Okay, so I have my eyeliner done. And so far, I've been really loving this Jolly Wink eyeliner. It's really black, it's really easy to use. So, ha! And I'm going to move along to do my lashes. So I have applied my mascara and now I'm going to use some lashes. And these are the lashes that I got from Japan in my Japan haul. I will link that in the description box down below and also at the card section at the top right hand corner of your screen. And this is the DUP eyelashes number 923. And the lashes on these, right, the hairs actually have a mixture of brown and black lash hairs so i don't know how this is gonna go you know how japanese are always known for their lashes right oh wow okay number one the lashes fit my eye shape Perfectly, I didn't have to trim anything. Number two, it is so easy to apply. Usually, I'll be like fiddling with my lashes, but I'm not. Oh my god, I like these lashes so much. But as you can tell, it is a very, very natural pair of lashes. It is so light. It just gives a lot of volume to my lashes, like as though I really like put so much mascara on. And I don't know, I feel that this is great for those of you who want to wear lashes every single day but don't want the big va va boom lashes, right? This is really pretty! Okay, wow, I am obsessed with these lashes. They may not be the most obvious lashes but they are the most comfortable, easy to use and fast free lashes I have ever tried in my life. And I'm definitely going to try more lashes from this um, DUP line. I'm gonna just dust away my bake because it's been there for quite a while. This is how my face looks like after I've dusted off my bake and I'm pretty satisfied with it. I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm gonna put on some blush and this is Benefit's Rocketeur blush which is my current favourite. And to finish off the face, I'm going to put on some highlighter and nope, I don't have a new highlighter but I have a new highlighter brush! And this is from the same line as the foundation brush. This is by Wet n Wild and this is a fan brush. 
and again this is also $10 so I do not have a fan brush can you believe it today I'll be using my Becca champagne pop by Jaclyn Hill because I've not used this in a while oh snap okay oh wow I think I might have overdid it Psh. I don't know if I'm using this right. Hang on. Okay, maybe I've been using it wrong. Oh, girl. I don't know if I used this brush wrong, but I feel that it's too synthetic to be to be a fan brush because I don't know. I think I might have used it wrong because I kind of picked up the product using the tip of the brush and put it on like that. Then when I use the side of the brush, then it kind of was better. I'm not sure. I think I must have used the brush wrong. But it's definitely more precise to use a fan brush to put on your highlight as compared to like a um, something like this, which is something that I've been using. This is a 13 Rushes highlighter brush. I really like this, but this is more like for those kind of days where I don't want it to be so pow, pow, pow. But with a fan brush, I think you can get a really nice like highlighted look right at the top of the cheekbones. My tip of my nose. Ah, okay. Okay, using this to put on a cupid's bow is definitely easier. And then moving on to the lips, I bought so many lip products recently so if you did not follow me on Snapchat then you wouldn't know that I actually did like a Snapchat haul of the things that I got from comamakeup.com um, I'll just do a quick one right now for those of you who don't have Snapchat or don't follow me on Snapchat The first thing I got is this Galactic um, Matte Lip Paint which so many people love and the shade that I got is called Sweet and the other three products that I got are from Ofra, um, Ofra Cosmetics. I have previously purchased my um, other Ofra liquid lipsticks at $27, but these ones were selling at like just $21, so I just had to get myself some. I got three and I got the shade Sao Paulo, Pasadena and Mocha. Um, other than buying stuff from comamakeup.com, I ordered something from Charlotte Tilbury and they arrived recently and I'm so obsessed with them. And I got these two lipsticks. The first one I got is called Kiss Chase and this is the Kissing Lipstick which is the more like semi-matte um, or rather satin finish. And I got another one of the Matte Revolution lipsticks because I love the formula of that. And this is in Very Victoria. This shade is like my lips but better but in a greyer form and I love it. So, and they smell like chocolate. I'm gonna go with something pinky ear. Pinky ear. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kiss Chase. So, it's a very nice pinky um, shade. It's not too like mauvey or browny. It's very just a very nice pink for everyday wear. I'm gonna line my lips first and this is also something new that I recently got and this is the Australis Lip Liners. This only cost like $8.90 and I, I bought two of them but I'm gonna use this shade in Miss Behave. So again, this is Charlotte Tilbury's Kiss Chase. Gorgeous. And this is how the lipstick looks like and again this is Charlotte Tilbury's Kissing Lipstick in Kiss Chase. And ta -da, We are done and this is the finished look that I came up with with some of the new products that I just recently got. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and of course thumbs it up as well if you want to see more videos like these. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!